So in this video, I'm going to show you a full climb down, a descend from the saddle, basically packing up and coming down the tree. So I'm going to take my Doyle's gear hoist and I'm going to attach it to my bow while my bow is still attached to my bow hanger. And this is just because I don't want to try to be holding the bow and attaching my rope to my bow at the same time in case it slips out of my hands. I don't want it to fall. So I leave it in the hanger until I make sure that my Doyle's gear hoist is fully attached to the bow. Then I'll go ahead and lower the bow from the tree. Once the bow gets almost all the way to the ground, you'll notice I start to swing the bow out. And this is, again, to help get the bow away from the base of the tree in case I drop something. Or if I step off of my last stick in the dark, I don't want to step on the bow to damage it. I'll go ahead and remove my Uselide Mini and attach it to my pack. Once I have it attached to my pack, I'll go ahead and take my pack off the hanger and slide the pack over my shoulder and then I will remove my pack hanger from the tree and put it in my pack and zip it up. Then I'll take my lineman's belt and I'll attach my lineman's belt around the tree. And this is a point where you're transitioning from your tree strap and bridge to your lineman's belt so it's always to have it's always good to have two points of contact here so you'll notice once i get it wrapped around the tree and hooked in i'll kind of stand up and make sure that all my weight is in my lineman's belt before i unhook from my tree strap just in case you know i didn't get it clipped through my lineman's belt attachment so you can see here i make sure all my weights on my lineman's belt go ahead and unhook my bridge then i'll unclip my bridge from one side then I will use the back band attachment points on my bridge and I'll clip that into one of the Molly accessory clips just to kind of help keep my bridge out of the way. Then I'll go ahead and remove my tree strap and I will daisy chain it up. So I will slide the Blake hitch all the way up to the loop on my tree strap and I will daisy chain that. And I will take the last loop of the daisy chain and the loop from the tree strap and I will run the carabiner through both of those and then I will run that carabiner through one of the plastic Molle accessory loops that we have on the back of my saddle. Then I'll go ahead and start down the tree. Once I have my platform off the tree, I'll go ahead and I'll slide all of my steps down towards the ratchet end and then I will do a simple overhand on a bite with my webbing just to keep my steps from flopping around and my strap to come undone. And then I'll hook this to the carabiner on the back of my saddle. And then I'll start down the tree and notice how I use my lineman's belt like a flip line as I come down. I don't actually touch the tree. I just use my lineman's belt. And again, I make sure to keep my lineman's belt at or above waist level in case I was to fall. With my muddy sticks, I like to wrap the ropes on my muddy stick up while I'm on the tree still. So you'll notice I'll undo the half hitch, pull the rope from the cleat, then I will wrap the rope up around the top of the stick, down around the bottom, back up to the top and then down halfway to the cleat pull the rope through the cleat and then I'll use the 550 cord on the bottom step of my sticks to attach them to the Molle clip on my saddle so I'm carrying those sticks down with me you could drop those sticks from the tree but I just think that's unnecessary stress you're putting on your climbing sticks so I just think it's easier to attach them to your saddle and carry them back down with you with this stick I'm only about maybe three feet off the ground. So I'll go ahead and drop that stick to the ground because it's the last stick and I don't have room to carry it on my saddle. Once I'm on the ground, I'll go ahead and remove my lineman's belt and I will daisy chain that up. And again, I'll slide the Blake's hitch all the way up against the saddle. And then I will daisy chain that rope. I will take the last loop and I will hook it through the carabiner and then hook that carabiner back through my lineman's belt attachment point. So with this last stick, I don't wrap the rope up on it. It is actually what I use to help hold all of my sticks together. So I'll take the other three sticks and I will stack them on top of each other. Make sure they're locked in nice and tight. 
And this is where I prefer climbing sticks that don't have a pivoting standoff. It just helps stack the sticks better because you know that the standoffs are always in a straight line so that they go on the stick in front of them very easily. So with my last stick, I'll go ahead and stack it on. Once I have it stacked on, I'll actually use the rope and I will wrap it down and under all four sticks. I'll wrap it back up and I will go just below the cleat. And then again, I will go down, back up, above the cleat. And the third time around, I will go down, up, and through the cleat so it locks them down tight. And then I'll use my backup tree strap that I use to carry my sticks with. And I'll wrap the loop around the first two complete sticks. So that's standoffs and steps. And then I'll use the carabiner on the other end that's on the Blake's hitch. And I'll hook it to my 550 cord on my steps. And then I'll walk out, pick up my bow, and I'm done. And that was six minutes and five seconds teardown.